Soil contains tiny bits of rock material, but when I think of rock, I think of big rocks. So how do rocks go from large sizes to small? Well, that's through a process called weathering. There's two types of weathering. There's physical or mechanical weathering and chemical weathering. But instead of me giving you some long, boring uh, description of the two, let's make our own weathered rocks with the science chef. But first, you need a piece of rock material. Bang. Right here, I've got a rock sample. And you can notice that there's a cut right in the rock here. If that cut filled with water and the water froze, it would produce ice. And as ice expanded, it would make enough force to split this rock. Now, this rock also contains different minerals. And the minerals expand and contract at different rates. That, too, can create a force which can split this rock. But the type of weathering we're going to do right now is going to be based upon bumping and grinding of rocks, a little bit different. For that activity, we're going to be using these rock samples right here. And I'm going to place them in our shaker can, just like this. I'm going to seal up the top. And maestro, my music, please. We've just shaken up these rocks, and let's see what we've produced. Remember, as those rocks were moving around in this can, they were banging into each other, chipping each other. And let's see the results of that action. There are those big rocks. Oh, but we've got, look at all the, oh, wow. That is great. Look at all the rock material we've produced. And that's just by shaking them up in the can. Now. We have different sizes of rocks in here. And see this valley right here in our scale model? We can see it in our contour map as well. This kind of flat, broad slope is represented by this cuts in our model here. This is a volcano. And what sort of science teacher would I be if I had a volcano and I didn't erupt it? So let's watch what's going to happen now. I am going to place some baking soda into a cup which we have inside the crater which is filled with vinegar solution. Let's see what happens when I add the baking soda to the vinegar. Oh boy, we've got a major volcano. We've got an eruption. You can see the eruption flowing down here. Now models like this are great for people who are looking at planning ways of protecting people and buildings and roadways because you're able to model the actual flow of that lava as it comes and rushes down the slope. Well, that's it for now from the Exploration Station.